Hi, this is Paul from Hench Herbivore introducing my four day bodybuilding diet phase split. So this routine comprises four different workouts, full body pull and full body push, two different workouts of each. There's three workouts per week, so you're cycling through the four workouts, one after the other in order. And cardio is three times per week on your off days. Your warm up should be a five out of 10 effort. I favor the rower if you're training upper and lower body in the same session. Warm up sets, at least a light and a medium set on each new muscle group. Each exercise is for three sets of 10 repetitions. The last set should be quite a challenge. And a strict one minute rest between sets really stroke the metabolism, burn some of that body fat off. Exercise one is a close grip pull down. I don't quite fully extend the shoulder here as the handle was a bit long, so I've not got as much range of motion as I'd like. Ideally fully extend the shoulder at the top of the movement, pulling all the way into the upper sternum. Nice little squeeze for a second at the apex of the move. Exercise two is a right grip torso supported row. I like the feeling of this move. By pushing into the support, you can really isolate your upper back. Again, a pause on the apex, really squeeze those working muscles. Full range of motion, fully extending at the shoulder and the elbow, and then fully flexing all the way back again. Exercise three is a 45 degree, what we call a back extension or hyper extension. I mean, really, this is actually a hip extension. If you think about it, the spine should remain neutral. Feet turned out 45 degrees. So the emphasis is really on the glutes, a bit on the hamstrings. We'll be a little bit on the lumbar, the spinal erectors, but we don't want all the strain there. So technically, this is not a back extension or a, a hyper extension. I say this is a hip extension. Exercise four, rear delt cable flies. Take a couple of steps back so you've got plenty of room for your arms. Relatively straight arms. Again, full range of motion, so you're really gonna cross your arms over then draw them all the way back. Exercise five is an upright row behind the back. You don't often see these nowadays, but back in his heyday in the 80s, Lee Haney, multiple times Mr. Olympia, he really swore by these for the traps and he had arguably the best traps of his era. Exercise six, standing hamstrings curl. Try to keep the hips relatively still. So you're really just articulating at the knee, drawing the heel all the way up, and then again, all the way down, foot pointing forward. So we get even development through the hamstrings. Exercise seven, machine preacher curl. You wanna really set up the machine such that you're really still so you're kind of wedging yourself in the pad is under your armpits feet out in front so you can really brace yourself so you can get nice leverage and keeping the elbows fixed again it's really uh, about isolation just articulating at the elbow just your forearms really that should be moving in this exercise and lastly exercise eight for the transverse abdominis and abdominis rectus Got an ab wheel roll out. Extend as far as you can with your body. Take a care to be pulling your belly button in towards your spine throughout, so you really engage that TBA. So it has the effect of really sort of slimming the gut, strengthening, supporting the spine well, protecting you from like low back pain. This is a really good basic sort of all round core exercise. If you've enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe. Go vegan for victory.